So did you look outside to see what the weather's like? Because that's what this will be. This will be kind of get a grip on what might happen today. I hope you like the video. And if you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very much, very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So I've had my contemplative meditation just to make sure that I'm in the right frame of mind to get you some good information today. So what did you do? I mean, it just never hurts for, for this little time that we have together if you just uh, you know, really consider how you want to get this going and, uh, and really take that to heart. And we'll uh, see uh, what we can come up with as an answer for you right now. So this is one of my all-time favorite uh, decks. So this is the Smith Waite uh, Tarot Deck. The Centennial Edition, and um, there's two boxes here, and I'll explain what happened. Is uh, when I was ordering uh, uh, this uh, deck, um, I think I, I think it was Amazon. I'm not 100 percent sure, but um, it wasn't clear that that one of the things I was ordering was just a deck of cards, and the other thing I was ordering was a commemorative set. Okay, so uh, we'll talk about them separately. So the cards themselves are terrific. So these are, as you may have heard me say, if you've watched some of my videos and watched me use these cards, uh, these cards are the um, supposed to be the uh, most true to the original artwork of Pamela Coleman Smith. This is her initial, Pamela Coleman Smith. Uh, th these are the closest to her original artwork or interpretation that she and um, and uh, uh, Wait uh, came to agreements on for the way that they would be depicted. Before I turn these over, I'm going to tell you. So one of the things I love about cards is when you, there's something special you can use the cards for, a special way you can identify with the cards that's only secret to you. Maybe I shouldn't like that, but I do like that. For instance, uh, these cards, you can tell from the back of these cards whether they are upright or whether they are inverted before you flip them over. And here's how. In this uh, little um, uh, flourish here, uh, it's almost a rose in a rose. It reminds me a little bit of the Tudor rose, but it's, it's not quite that. But uh, if you are looking at this card, the back of this card, and you see this little leaf is, is sort of pointing in front of this signature, then you know that this card, when you flip it over, is going to be upright. However, if you see that the leaf is pointing behind the signature, you know that this card is going to be inverted. So see, a quick glance, it's not very obvious to you. But once you look at it for a minute and you know that secret, now you know what's going to happen when you turn this card over. So let's use an example. This one is pointing um, before the signature. So we can see that this card is in the upright position. This one is pointing after the signature, and you can see that it's in the inverted position. So, so there you go. Now, the cards themselves are great. I mean, I love the coloring of the cards. They've got kind of a, a grayish, um, a brownish gray overtone, almost a misty, kind of a London fog kind of a feel to the overall. It's like someone painted the cards and then went back and did a treatment on them to make them look kind of, so I'm not, I don't know if that's how Pamela Coleman Smith uh, created the art. I haven't seen her original art for this, obviously. Um, I'm sure some people have. But um, but that's what's great about these cards. It kind of gives them a built-in patina. It's not real, you know. It's fake, but it still makes them nice and mystical. And so uh, that's what's interesting about these cards. Now, the uh, at first I was disappointed that I had ordered two um, sets of the same cards, but then um, I understood that it was a good thing, and I'll show you why that is. Okay, so now this is the commemorative set of the Pamela Coleman Smith uh, artist of the Rider Waite Tarot deck, uh, featuring the Smith Waite Tarot Centennial Edition deck, which is this. So uh, it comes in this amazing, amazing container. I mean, I can't even really call it a box. It's, it's like a beautiful showcasing a lifetime of artwork by Cam Pamela Coleman Smith. And um, so it's really cool. 
and wait till you see how it works. So you open this treasure chest up and you've got this beautiful uh, finish here and you've got wonderful little tabs where you can pull back the, uh, the covers and see what's inside. And what is inside is a, a pack of the cards. Uh, and in truth, what's happened is um, these were the cards that were wrapped up inside this box and uh, these cards uh, came in that box. But um, I got this first, and so I wanted to use the cards, so I opened it up, and oh, look at that. And I don't like that. This has to be tucked down in there, so there's a couple things that aren't perfect. But uh, so I took the cards out of here, opened them up, started using them, and then the other cards came, and I realized, oh, well, I can make this a complete set if I put these in here. What's in here? Of course, you have the cards, and uh, then you have a nice little bag uh, to keep them in, if, uh, if that's how you're going to keep your cards, and so many people do. But uh, I've just chosen to try to leave these cards in kind of a pristine condition. And then on this side is where all the treasure happens. The first thing you have is this booklet, The Artwork and Times of Pamela Coleman Smith, Artist of the Tarot, Tarot of the Rider Weight Tarot Deck by Stuart R. Kaplan and Lynn uh, Arjo, I suppose. So this is who wrote this book. In this book, it tells you all about, uh, you know, not all about, but it's a, it's, it's, it's a very good information about Pamela Coleman Smith. It's a lot of her art that's not related to tarot and explanations of how that art came to be. I mean, this is just a fascinating book, and I love it. I love it a lot. So there's that. The next thing that was in here, are these are actually postcards. Okay, so these are postcards, and all of these are the art of Pamela Coleman Smith. So, uh, and then this book talks about these postcards and why they come to be, and they all have a very interesting uh, story. So, which I won't go into now, but if you think you'd like to know, you should order these cards. So, very interesting uh, stuff here. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, next thing you're going to get is you get some uh, larger pieces that uh, this is Pamela Coleman Smith, who I understand like to be called Pixie uh, as a nickname, and she's a lovely person. This um, is uh, someone that she knew, a, a stage uh, actress at the time, and um, and there's even a little uh, message down here. The the name of this person is Mistress Page, and then you are a you are Mary, so am I, ha ha, uh, Ellen Terry. So uh, I'm not sure now, but the the book explains all of this to you. Then you get, uh, this is an example of just some black and white work she done for, for, I don't know what it doesn't tell you on here, but it does tell you in the book. And then this is some more examples of what she might have done for playbills or uh, other ways. You know, artists have to make a living, so they use their talent of making art to uh, sell and, and do other things. So love, love, love everything that came with this. And um, amazing. Now, the final thing, and I've, I've lost a little uh, ribbon, but also this uh, has a ribbon here that, that helps you pull everything out, which is so smart and so good. I don't know who thought of it first, but it's a great uh, use of that. And then you have here the actual uh, pictorial key to the tarot. So some of you may have seen me using uh, this book, which is the pictorial key to the tarot by weight. And uh, so this is just another uh, representation of that, but just in a different book. And it all comes in here. The one thing that you're missing here, I don't think the cards are in this book. No, the pictures of the cards uh, aren't in here, but it's terrific. Everything else is true to that first book. Uh, this one, however, which I bought separate from an uh, online bookstore, uh, does have uh, depictions of the cards in it, as you can see. So that's very useful to use that all the time. So very handy to have. And then finally, like so many of these uh, decks, this gives you some uh, examples of some spreads you can use and how you might read them. And so everything, everything, everything about this um, this package uh, is exactly um, the best that you'd want to get in a, in a, in a gift. I've got, this is the one little misgiving here. Maybe I'll, I'll work on that later. But um, so nice. So that's been the tour of these cards. And I hope you've enjoyed it. Okay, so this will be an energy read for you today. And I always like to say that these energy reads are like looking out the window to see what the weather's like before you start your day. Or maybe a little clarity if you're looking back on your day to see, oh, that's why this happened the way it did. So, again, I always my recommendation is always to center yourself. Um, let's uh, take a deep breath. And let it out slowly. Get relaxed and really focus on whatever the issue or issues are that you want to deal with here.
Okay, so Calm, Serenity, that's what we want to start this with. And once you put your issue out into the universe, then hopefully the cards will be able to pick up on that and give you some direction from here. Okay, so this is an energy read for today, and this will be followed by a full Celtic Cross. I think the way I'm going to start this one is I'm just going to pull a card and uh, interpret it, and then we'll pull the rest of the cards for the first part of that uh, Celtic Cross. Energy read for you today. One card. Okay. Ah, beautiful. So this is the world card. This is number 21 in the uh, Fool's Journey. This is the end of the journey. This means we've made a complete journey we've been successful and now we're getting ready to start on something new so that's a wonderful place to start that's the signifier card for this energy read today understand that we've we've come to a place that this cycle has come to its its fruition all right and what we're starting next we'll take the uh, what we've learned along this journey to guide our path forward let me shuffle these up just a little bit more i think i'm going to cut them Maybe one more riffle shuffle before we go ahead and get five more cards for the first part of this Celtic cross. So this will be one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. A signifier card being the world card, completion of cycle. And sometimes we don't understand that we've come to a completion. And so let's just understand that that's where we are right now with whatever this issue is. Uh, the challenge to that, then, is this King of Wands. Ac actions, motions, planning. The king is completely in charge of his kingdom, and he's going to make a plan. He's going to show us an action and move us forward. Perfect. I mean, that's exactly what we need. The challenge to uh, reaching this end is understanding that now we need to move forward. Sometimes we think we're still on the journey when it's already over. And now we understand, no, we're completed. And now let's get, gather our actions, make a plan, and go forward with it. With the um, wisdom and with the, um, uh, the that a king would uh, know that he has to keep moving forward. The uh, base of this reading, then, is this King of Swords. This is even better. So Swords, truth, justice, rules, law, completely in control of, of all of those issues. So we are underpinned here by the King of Swords, a very strong foundation for uh, this uh, energy read. Uh, the past of this reading, look at that, the Two of Swords making a choice. Of course, the King has decided that uh, we're going to start and we have to make a choice how we're going to go and how we're going to be ruled by that. We're going to go with our, the higher intentions that we have, truth, justice, rules, law. That's what we're going to use to to guide us Okay, on the path. doesn't matter which way you go as long as you're using one of those four uh, choices and uh, so um, the, the positive uh, version of any way that you can move forward. In the sky of this reading is this Ace of Wands. Look at that, a great big ace, a great big offer of an action. Okay, so we're just backing up this king here. Aim for making a big start, okay? Making a big plan, a fruitful issue, okay? And then the likely outcome of the first part of this Celtic cross then is look at that. So the two of wands, again, short-term plans, uh, taking this uh, action in steps, all right? One of these uh, plans is, is firmly secured. The other one we have a, a nice grip on. We're considering our options. We're looking out over the landscape and understanding the journey is ahead of us. And so short-term plans. You don't have to make plan the whole thing out. Just understand how do I get started in this journey, okay? Now for the last part of this Celtic cross, we'll take four cards out of here and take them one at a time. The self of this question for, for how will you proceed with this issue? Knight of Cups. Now, I always like to say the knight is the warrior of the royal suite. Okay, cups are compassion, emotion, and so this knight, if you give him this issue, he's going to take it and he's going to make sure it's carried out with the with. And you've given him the instruction that this is. We have to consider compassion. We have to consider the emotion involved. We have to make sure that we step over this river of, of emotion, and our steed is making a careful step forward. Okay, and this knight is well seated on his uh, trusty white uh, stallion. Okay, so the self of this question, the self of this issue is understand it's our duty to consider the compassionate uh, alternatives uh, of this, uh, this situation. 
the um, environment that that's in, however, look at that. This is a beautiful reading today. So Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords. So the, the wands and the swords are just following our kings right here. So, and, and even in the same order, we drew the King of Wands. We, ended, we first draw the Ace of Wands. We have the King of Swords. Now we have the Ace of Swords. Great big offer of truth, justice, rules, law, comp uh, you know, underscoring that those will be our guiding lights for how we go forth in this uh, um, situation. The uh, hopes and the fears for us, though, all right. Ah, <laughs> that's right. When you're so empowered, when you, okay, I've completed the journey. I know I've got a plan to go forward. I feel, uh, you know, determined. I know I've got a choice. I feel good in, in the, my action to go forward. I've made a short-term plan. The the knight says, listen, this is my uh, my um, um, uh, remit, and this is what I'm going to do. And I have good on my side. And sometimes we're so full of ourselves that we uh, may fall under the spell of a little bit of lesser intention. Okay. Okay? So just understand that. So when things are going your way, uh, understand, you know, find some some humble um, uh, humbleness in yourself uh, before you move forward. But the likely outcome of all of this is look at that, the final king, and he follows us just like the others followed us. We start out with his nine of cups, and now we have a king of cups, king of compassion and emotion. He's got that uh, um, staff in his hand to make that plan to move forward. He's got a bigger cup of compassion and he's floating on an ocean of emotion so yeah so this you this is a very uh, good uh, uh, start for what needs to happen uh, here love that Did, it, did you get some answers from that? Did it work for you? If it, did it not work for you? Let me know. Tell me in the comments uh, how you feel about uh, today's read. I really do appreciate knowing that. Uh, either way, have a fantastic uh, rest of your day. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.